combustion of hydrocarbon. All hydrocarbons can undergo combustion. Eh? Combustion means burning. And there are two types of combustion. Complete combustion and incomplete combustion. Now in SBM, you need to know what's the difference between these two combustions. Uh, for example, uh, what caused the complete combustion and what caused the incomplete combustion. You also need to know the product of the combustion. Uh, for example, what will be produced under complete combustion and what will be produced under incomplete combustion. Okay, uh, let's start with complete combustion. Now, complete combustion occurs when there are sufficient supplies of oxygen. Eh? Sufficient oxygen. So it means that the supplies of the oxygen is enough. Eh? And if the supplies of the oxygen is sufficient, then uh, uh, the products of the combustion will be carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so this is the products for complete combustion. For incomplete combustion, it happens when there are limited supplies of oxygen. It means that the supplies of the oxygen is not enough. Eh? And uh, for incomplete combustion, the products is carbons. Okay, or soot. Eh? Soot is the black smoke produced during combustion. Another product is carbon monoxide. Eh? This is a poisonous gas. Uh, other than that, we have uh, carbon dioxide and water. So these are the products produced eh, during incomplete combustion. Another thing that you need to know about combustion of hydrocarbon is the factor that affect the amount of soot produced during the combustion. The soot of the combustion of a hydrocarbons uh, depends on the percentage of carbons it contains. Uh, and the higher the carbon percentage, the combustion will result sootier flame. Sootier flame means uh, flame with more soot. Eh? More soot. The soot is the black smoke. Eh? Okay. If the percentage of the carbon is high, then uh, more black smoke will be produced. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, example. Let's compare uh, ethane and ethene. Okay, ethane and ethene to see which one will produce more soot if it's combusted. Okay, uh, ethane, the molecular formula is C2H6. Now, again, you don't need to worry about this because you are going to learn this later. So, if you don't know the equation, uh, the formula for ethane, fine. Yeah, no problems uh, because we will discuss that later. For ethene, the molecular formula is C2H4. Okay. So for ethane, the percentage of carbons, percentage of carbon is equal to now we have two carbons. Uh, and the relative atomic mass, the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. Uh, and the relative atomic mass of uh, hydrogen is 1. It's equal to 1. Uh. Okay, so we have two carbons, so two times twelve, uh, and then divided by the total mass. The total mass is two carbons plus uh, six hydrogens, uh, six hydrogens, and then times hundred percent. Okay, times hundred percent, and uh, use your calculator to find the percentage of the carbon uh, for ethane. Okay, uh, so the answer is eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay, now for ethene. Ethene, the percentage of carbon is equal to, uh, we have two carbons, so 2 times 12, and then so the total mass, 2 carbon plus 4 hydrogens, eh? and then times 100%. Eh? Okay, so let's see what is the percentage of carbons of ethene. Uh, the answer is 85.7. Eh? 7%, percent, 85.7%. So the percentage of carbons for ethene is 85.7% and the percentage carbon for ethane is 80%. So out of these two hydrocarbons, which one will produce more soot? Which one will produce more soot? The answer is ethene. Ethene will produce more soot. Okay, or let's write here, more soot. More soot means more black smoke. Why? Because the percentage of carbon is percentage of carbon is higher. Okay, 
has higher percentage of carbon and therefore uh, when combusted it produces more soot eh? so uh, the amount of soot produced depends on the percentage of carbon uh, let's see this uh, equations of the reactions of complete combustions eh? okay now the first one is uh, ethane eh? this is uh, ethanes now for the time being you don't need to worry about the name of this uh, compound here because we are going to learn this later so c2h6 is ethane and um, when it's uh, combust now every combustion need oxygen eh? okay so during combustions in the equation you must write plus oxygen because all combustions need oxygen so it tends uh, during combustions it tends to react with oxygen and uh, just now we have learned that for complete combustions what are the products do you still remember what are the products for complete combustions? The product is carbon dioxide and water. Okay, carbon dioxide and water. Okay, um, so the equation is not uh, balanced. So let's balance it. So we have two carbons here. So we need to have two carbon dioxide and we have six hydrogens uh, six hydrogens and therefore we need to have three water so three times two six uh, six hydrogens so we have three oxygen here and four oxygens here two times two four uh, so in total we have seven oxygens uh, seven oxygens uh, so seven but this is o2 uh, o2 uh, if seven times two then it will be uh, 14 oxygens uh, there's too many oxygens already so we divide it by two 7 over 2 eh? so 7 over 2 uh, oxygen O2 eh? uh, then the number of oxygen atoms will be just uh, 7 okay so for writing the equations of combustion you can use fractions as the coefficients uh, of the substance in other equations uh, you cannot use fractions eh? as the coefficients but for combustions you, you, you can do that okay you can do that okay now let's see another example so C3H6 eh? um this is propene this is propene now again you don't need to worry about this name because we are going to learn this later okay uh, so for the time being if you don't know uh find okay so uh, for combustion we must plus oxygens and uh this is complete combustions so again the product is the same that's uh carbon dioxide and water uh, let's balance the equations we have three carbons huh? so three carbons and then we have six hydrogens so therefore we put a three in front here three times two six hydrogens and then uh, we have three oxygens and then here we have three times two six huh? six oxygens huh? so six plus three oxygens nine uh, therefore the oxygen is nine over two huh? okay uh, now the equations become balanced uh, this is how we write the equation for the complete combustion eh? so remember always remember every combustion need oxygen so therefore when we write the equation for combustion we must plus oxygen eh? plus oxygen and you need to know the products eh? what are the products uh, for complete combustion and incomplete combustion for complete combustion is carbon dioxide and water now after writing this the uh, reactants and the product are then we balance the equations eh? okay and uh, we can use fractions for the coefficients of oxygen eh? when writing the equations of combustions now example incomplete combustions eh? okay so this is the equation for incomplete combustions again we have uh, ethane eh? this is ethane and this is propene eh? uh, for incomplete combustions uh, the products may be carbon monoxide CO eh? and then plus water okay and also uh, the products can be just carbons eh? and water okay so this is what will happen uh, during incomplete combustions the products may be carbon monoxide or carbon and water usually we separate these two are into two equations eh? okay because uh, some may produce some of the combustions may produce carbon monoxide and some may produce uh, just carbon eh? and some may produce carbon dioxide as well okay 
Uh, so let's balance the equations. We have two carbons, uh, so two, and then uh, six hydrogens, so three, three. So for this one, we have two oxygens and three oxygens. So in total, we have five oxygens. For this one, we only have three oxygens. Uh, so it's three over two. Okay. So this is the equation for the combustions of ethane. For propene, propenes. Uh, okay. Again, the product is carbon monoxide and water. Okay. And uh, the second one is carbon and water. So carbon will uh, exist as soot, eh, the black smokes, eh, means that for incomplete combustion, the black smoke will be produced. Eh, okay? uh, to balance the equations, we need to have three carbon monoxide and uh, three water. And this one also three, three. Okay? Um, so for this one, we have three oxygens, three oxygens, in total six. Eh, okay? Six oxygen, then we can straight away write three here because three times two, six. Eh? So here we have six oxygens. Uh, this one, we only have three oxygen, so three over two. Okay, so uh, this is the equation for the incomplete combustions of propene. Eh? Propenes. So for combustions, always remember we need oxygens. Eh? So we plus oxygens, and then you need to memorize the product of the combustions. For incomplete combustion, we have carbon monoxide, water, or carbon and water. And for complete combustion, there is carbon dioxide and water. Okay, and then so after that, uh, balance the equation. Always remember, uh, you balance the oxygen last. Right? We balance the carbon first. Okay, two carbons, two carbon, and then we balance the hydrogens. Hydrogens. Uh, then only we balance the oxygens. Eh? Okay, always uh, try to balance the oxygens last. Eh?